Rice. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are back with some more FIFA 21 next gen career model with Borussia Dortmund. This is episode 34 and we have a massive game coming up in the Champions League against Juventus. We lost our very first Champions League game in the um of the season against Cluj. I'm not even sure that's how you say it, but we definitely lost to them. I'll link that video down below. You can check out my live video as well. I did a live stream of that. Um, but we have Juventus coming up. We definitely have to start picking up points because we are the title defenders. We're doing so excellent in the league, actually. We have six games on beating the streak going on. Six wins, actually. Yeah, six straight wins in the league. So we're doing pretty well, but it's still early days. Hopefully, we can get a win against Juventus. If you're just now checking out my channel, please subscribe down below. Leave a like, comment, all that jazz is much. They appreciate it. And let's get on with this episode. All right, so looking at the calendar, we have Juventus coming up, and then it's Cologne, or Cologne, and Schalke 04 in this episode. So... We can take care of the league. I think we can. We can. We, we fancy ourselves against Cone and Schalke, but Juventus is the massive one. Absolutely massive. We have to win this. Can't stress this enough. I don't think a draw is good enough because I think PSV will probably beat Luge, and then we're really starting to struggle in this in this group stage. Look at that. Lewandowski is the top scorer. I trust us to win this. Um, they're pretty slow. They're playing a like four-four-two. Eric Bailly, Gomez, Pepe, Tasman, Arthur, Hazard, Ronaldo, Dybala. They actually have a decent squad. I didn't even notice this. They have a pretty good squad. Chesney in goal. So it's going to be a tough, tough match. But hopefully we can get a win. Hopefully. Let's get on with this. You would think this game has epic written all over it. Two heavyweights of Europe, and both have the potential to go far. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. <laughs> oh, we're facing Ronaldo. I think this is my the second time having him in a group stage. I think. They definitely make it tough, but I don't think they can. Bai is the captain as well. <laughs> Eric Bai is captain in Juve. I can see that happening. No, I can see Bai going to Juve. I can definitely see that happening. Thank you, Derek. Hello, everybody. Well, there's been a lot of pressure. All right, let's let's get on with this. There is the lit facing his former club. He'll be looking for a victory and a clean sheet against Ronaldo. Coming up here. I just realized Hazard is playing against his former team and the lit is playing against his former team. It's the battle of the former teams. Oh, play man. He's off. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Let's go. Marco Royce. What a pass from Haaland. Takes a touch. What a finish by Royce. Let's go. Oh, we need this victory. Look at this play. Two pass comes in. Oh, that Tasha set himself. What a hit. Let's go. 1 0 to Dortmund. Game on. Dibala. Good play. Oh, I tell you what. Now it's Royce. Still Royce. Finds Haaland. Let's go. Two goals. Erling Haaland. 2 0 up. Oh, let's go. We so desperately need this win. We need this win. We gotta kick off our campaign in the Champions League. We have to defend our title. What a pass. Michael Royce repays Haaland. And what a finish. 2 0. Let's go. Lovely play. Oh, let's go. Oh, is he off? How did he miss that? Benoni. Oh, corner kick! How? Come on, delay. Get a goal against your former team. Cross comes in. Ah, oh, too close to the goalkeeper. Oh, just couldn't get it through. Another corner kick. Come on, delay. You know you need a goal against your former club. Cross comes in. Ah, oh, goalkeeper punches it. There goes the halftime whistle. What a performance by Dortmund. 2-0 up. 
Wow. For his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Three attempts and a goal. An assist for him as well. ESV game hasn't kicked off yet, but we can we can take care of business here. And the second half the kicks second off. Bentacor comes in for Talisman. And it's Pablo Dybala. Tell you what, the lead knows all about you guys. He is reading them like a bug. The counter-attack is on. It's Anthony. Back balls. Let's go. 3-0. That should be game over. What a counter-attack. Oh, they cannot handle us on the break. We are too quick for them. What a counter-attack. Finally, we're about to get our three points in the Champions League group stage. Let's bring Brent on. But look at that pass. What a volley. What a volley. Wow, 3 0. Ronaldo makes way for Avaro Morata. Now it's with Morata. Oh, he comes in and gets a goal. It's 3 1. Let's bring Dahoud in. We can bring Mama Dahoud in. Look at his pass. Morata comes in and gets a goal. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Wow. It's 3 1, but I think that might be a little too late for them. I don't think the comeback is on. Azad. Oh, what a save. Oh, what are you booking him for now? Come on. The lead is kind of tired. We might have to rest him for the next game. But it's a corner kick for Juventus. Cross comes in. And it's out for another corner kick. Just a minute added on here. Can they get a second goal? Probably still be too late. Never mind. Delay heads it out. Referee. Good save by Bernie. It's over a minute now. Deal with that. Deal with that. Oh, there we go. Four time whistle. We get our first three points of the campaign in Champions League against Juventus. Pepe. <laughs> Oh, let's go. We're turning the season around here. It's still early days. Still early days. But we're looking good. Roma beating Schalke. Schalke, you say. Look at that. We are three points above Leipzig. Still very tight. It's probably going to be against those two teams. Because Bayern Munich is struggling so far. We have Cone coming up next, and then there's the international break, it looks like. Where is Bayern Munich? They were 15 the last time I checked. They're up to 12 now, and they finally got a win. And they're up and running. That's how they usually do. That's how they usually. They got a win, and watch out for them now. They're just going to keep on winning. Tunia against Schalke. Yeah, they're going to keep on winning. I want them at their best when I'm when I'm winning the the, the bonus league. That's for sure. Anyway, that's the Cone team. They're playing the three, four, two, one. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one again. It's one of those. It's one of those. Um, it's an international break coming up after. I want to give the little rest. He's played every minute since we signed him. He's playing. He's playing. Let's get on with this match. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. There is the top scorer. It is a Rhineland city synonymous with carnival at the start of each year. Welcome to the great city of Cologne. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for All right, come on, boys. Let's get a win against Cologne. Cologne, Cologne. I'm not even sure how you say it. And the game kicks off. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Oh, tackle in. Lovely play. Rice. Oh my goodness! 
Oh my goodness, Mark Royce. What a technique, what a hit. Goal of the season, maybe? That was further out than the Jude Bellingham goal I scored in the last episode. Take a look at this, one touch. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is further away. Wow. Two defenders around him. Whips it. Oh my goodness, what a hit. What a hit. Royce. <laughs> That was spectacular. Six goals to him. He's having one of the best seasons he's ever had. 1-0 to Dortmund. Now it's Tagliafico. How much time are they going to add? No time. Oh, cross comes. Is he off? He's not off. What a goal. Right on halftime. Haaland makes it 2-0. <gasps> wow! What a finish! Oh, we're seeing some great goals today. Look at that cross. Oh, the scorpion kick at the near post as well. What a finish. Oh, when you're doing a scorpion kick, you don't really have time to direct it. But he directed that at that near post. And what a finish. That takes us into half time. 2 0. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Wow, what a performance, I tell you what. Let's keep it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Leipzig are also winning. It's just, it's going to be between Leipzig and Dortmund this season, it looks like. They are right on our tails. We can't afford to, we cannot afford to drop points. And the second half kicks off. Oh, Jude Bellingham gives it away cheaply. Lovely turn. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. It's 2-1. Wow, who scored? They're just running, running right into the wall. Look at his pass. Oh, completely, absolutely dumbed. The lead. What a skill move. And what a finish. Yeah, Berkey's not saving that. He's not saving that. And I just went ahead and substituted the lead as well because he was kind of tired. And it's 2 1. Give it away cheaply. How much time did it add? Just a minute. Can we hang on here? This will be our second league game in a row. We've tried and hung on to a, just a goal. And we do hang on. 2 1 victory over a cone. The goals are starting to dry up now. <laughs> but we get the three points. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Wow. We edged that. We definitely edged that. Good play from Haaland. Two attempts and a goal. That's not bad. We didn't really create that much chances. We didn't create that much. Yeah, we didn't create that much chances. Five attempts, five on target. They had two attempts, two on target. So overall, not enough chances created. And Leipzig drew with Hector Berlin. And that hood offer a drone. Diego Costa, 75 overall. I need a goalkeeper. I need a backup goalkeeper. That's good. 75. That's not bad. But that's... I mean, we'll see. If he wants to be a backup goalkeeper, then yeah. If he wants, like, important role or crucial role, then absolutely not. I'm not doing that. Oh, look at that scorpion kick from Haaland. That scorpion kick. But we have... Schalke 04 coming up in this match. This would definitely be a tough one. I'm actually looking forward to this, but this is the one I've been looking for. Zach Steffen. 78 overall. 16 million. That's not bad. I'm going to have to decide between him. All oh, pork bites are left to Madrid. Honey, wow, there's a lot of players that are kind of available we could get. Just go back, let's take a look at this quickly. Uh, yeah, they haven't played yet. We're not doing too bad, we're not doing too bad. All right, so that's the Shaco team. They're playing a 5 3 2. Definitely gonna be tough. Sane, Kabak, Bentelev. This still have Bentelev. All right, five in the back. Always tough to break down. Tagliafico looks like he didn't have a good international break. He's coming back tired. 
we'll put Fiedric in there. And you know what? Where's Nico? Where is Nico shoots? There he is. We'll, we'll, we'll put him in there. Give Taglifico a rest as well. All right, we'll go with that team. See how we can do in this one. They might be great rivals, but there's so much that links the two communities based on an industrial past. Here in Germany, it quite simply is known as the Revier Derby. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action live as Borussia Dortmund face Schalke. Hello everyone, they do get their fair share of rain in this part of Western Germany and it has been raining in the build-up to this fixture here at the Signali Duna Park. We are playing at the Signali Duna Park. We're back at home to face Schalke 04. And the yellow was up, loud and proud. We're ready for this match. Can we make it? Eight out of eight wins. <laughs> that would be incredible. Oh, Bayern Munich are in the top ten now. <laughs> That's the thing about Bayern Munich. Once they start winning, they just keep winning. We scored 23 goals so far. But Schalke are actually the least scorers in the league. Alright, come on. Let's kick off this game. Now it's Kabak. Mascarell. Raman. What just happened? Oh, What? I tell you what, Fiedrich and Dele in the back, it's not a good combination. There's not enough pace in that in that two center backs. Why did I arrest Akanji? <laughs> Look at this chip. Where are my defenders? He chipped it right on the line as well. <laughs> Berkey, what are you doing? It's 1 0 to Schalke. What well, tackle in? What a tackle there by Fiedrich. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Bentelev. Plenty of options. Lammers. Oh my goodness. It's 2 0 to Schalke. What? Harrit? Wow, unbelievable here. Why did I switch my center back parents? Why did I do that? Look at the space. Oh, what a finish. Harit makes it 2 0 to Schalke. Oh my, we can't even pass. What is this? Good interception. Nice, Sean. I need runners. All right, we ain't. We're in. Make the run, Holland. Cross comes. Let's go. Get the ball back. Get the ball back. 2 1. We're back in it. We're back in it. Whew. They're playing five in the back. It's so hard to break them down. But finally, Holland finds some space. And what a finish. 12 goals already in eight games. What a performance. It's 2 1. Ball with Bentaleb, Harrit, Limas. Better not concede here. Oh my god. And there it is, the half time whistle. Uh, it's 2 1 at the break to Schalke. Alright, come on, boys. Come on. I'm going to have to bring Twan Sebi in here because the pace, we're lacking pace. I'm going to have to bring Twan Sebi in. Look at that. Fiedrich is 68. At least Delay is 78. So he has a little bit of pace. But Fiedrich is lacking in that, in that defense. Anyway, let's pick up the second half. Wow. Corner kick for Schalke. Russ comes in as a good cross. Okay. Okay. Do that. We're doing that. We're going. We're going attacking. What was that? Sane. Who was on him there? 
Oh my gosh, Fiedrick. Fiedrick, what are you doing? Fiedrick, what are you doing? And look at Anthony. Oh my goodness. He has that into the ground. All right, come on, boys. Some changes has been made. It's 3-1 to Schalke. Sebi. See, this is why we have him in there. That, that recovery pace. That's what we need. I shouldn't have bench. Akanji. Oh, look at that reverse pass from Royce. Let's go. Look at that reverse pass from Royce. 3-2. We're back in it. Oh, we need two more goals. We need two more goals. Look at this reverse pass from Royce. So far, my player of the season. He's been excellent. What a finish by Brent. What a substitution by the manager. And we're back in this 3-2. Let's go. No. Why did I bench a Kanji? Fiedrich doesn't have the pace. Wow. 3-2 loss to Schalke. The lead is so shocked. Too many bystanders for me. Just not good enough, really. Maybe that's why they're called Shaka, because they, they produce shock results. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Our first loss comes from Shaka. And it ends our seven-game unbeaten run. At home as well. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. But we have the Champions League coming up. Um... Don't worry about it, Kanji. I, I just decided to give you a rest, which cost me three points. Valuable three points. I think we're not. We're still first, by the way. But um, I think Leipzig could be. They haven't played yet, so they could go two points below us. Leipzig hasn't played yet. Leverkusen hasn't played yet. We'll just make this. Look at Bayern Munich climbing up there. They have 10 points now, but they have a game in hand, so they could have 13 points. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Anyway, we'll stop here for now. Hope the next episode coming very, very soon, which is PSV, Hoffenheim, and Hertha Berlin. And that's a tough schedule. Hoffenheim and Hertha Berlin can produce shock results, especially Frankfurt as well. So it's looking pretty good. And anyway, we'll stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.